Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pennine Way. I am in Dufton right now. Um, it's quite a small little village. Uh, it's got a nice long village green running through it. And today I am going to walk to Alston. It's um, over 19 and a half miles. So it's one of the longest sections of the Pennine Way. Um, it's also quite a big climb. I have to climb out of Dufton and I'm not going up that but see I do have some climb to get up into the surrounding hills. Okay so let's continue on to Alston and right away I'm going to have a quite a big climb. It's almost noon and I've got 19 and a half miles so I need to really run if I'm going to get there for this evening. I think that there is Dufton Pike. I'm not sure. So I think I walk down from from over there. I'm trying to get the last lamb. There's two already on the back. I'm using I'm using two dogs to try and round up this final little sheep. All that work for one sheep. Oh, thought it gave up, it's still going. Hey cows. Don't mind me. A little bit of mud on the, the path today, but it's not too bad. Quite warm, so as soon as I start climbing, I will take this fleece off. I'm doing a little bit of climb already, but I've still got some quite a lot of elevation to get up. Ah, yeah, I can just see, was it Knock Hill or whatever it's called? I need to keep that to my left. And then I head up in that little bit there. So, I think I can see where I need to go. Hopefully it's going to be a nice hot path that takes me there. Well, the header's looking quite nice. Um, I've done most of the climb up this little section. Still looking down at Knock Pike. Um, for this little river. Uh, this is Swindell Beck. About to cross it on the bridge. Oh. I'm heading up to Knock Fell. Which is hopefully that's most of the climb done today. Well, most of the climb done for the next hour. And then got some more climb after that because Knockfell is not the highest point of the Pennine Way. That's in a couple more hours. But I'm making okay time. Um, should be able to get there before it goes dark. Could be close if I get slowed down, but I'll just have to keep on moving. Well, the last bit of climbing was quite tough. I've climbed out of Eden Valley now and I'm starting to walk along the fells. Well, it took two and a half hours but I've made it up to the top of the first fell of the day. Ooh, so it can. Man, that was tiring. So... Now I've got quite a lot of elevation. 
hopefully I'm not going to drop down too much as I keep going up and down the fells it's quite annoying because the Pennine Way was actually over there and then it dropped down into Dufton and climbed back up quite needlessly I mean Dufton's a nice place but the Pennine Way really didn't need to drop down there could have been a little spare side trail so that people could overnight there but yeah dropping down just to climb back up is not fun okay let's head on up to the hill there and you might just be able to make out the golf ball on top so we'll head on up to that hopefully it's not going to take too much longer just off the way is a fenced off hole in the ground which is an abandoned mine shaft there's lots of them all up on these hills you can see how empty it is over there that little valley if there was one word to describe being on the Pennines where it's windy or wet that would be exposed you're very exposed up here no trees, no shelter. It's kind of bleak, but I still really enjoy it out here. you've just got to scratch it well here is the radar installation on Great Dunfell you see it's made up of lots of hexagons from the sphere I'm not entirely sure what it's there for it's a radar installation of some sorts it's probably aviation or it could be used to track ballistic missiles for all I know now there's not really any security here, so it's probably aviation instead of military. It's quite a judged position of being here next to this really empty area. You can't see any homes or anything. And then you turn around and Oh wow, it's a massive radar installation. <laughs> right, so this is the end of Great um, Dunfell. I need to head to Crossfell. Ah, oh, it's better already. Oh, out of the wind, fantastic. So where I'm sat on Little Dunfell, I need to cross over to Crossfell. It's over there. That's the highest point of the Pennine Way. That's what my eye is on. I've got to just head towards that. It's all downhill from there. Can you see the trig point on top? This is one of the most ambitious cairns I've seen before. I'm on top of Crossfell now, the highest point of the Pennine Way. I actually made it cross upon Crossfell. A massive X. I'm going to fall the cairns and hopefully drop down. I think I've still got about 10 11 miles walk and I've got five hours of light left so two miles an hour not too bad I'm starting to be able to see my destination for today I believe so anyway it's one of these towns in this valley it's 
over here. Alston. So, I need to get there. See, it's quite a long way away. But, even though my feet really hurt, I'm going to get there. Okay, I know it's absolutely impossible, but I just picked up a Wi-Fi signal for Alston, the town over there. Here must be Greg's hut, which is sort of a mountain rescue hut. Just the bare essentials to survive the night. If it gets bad out. So decent enough road to walk on this this path, but wow, it hurts your feet. It's quite rough. Oops, it's got a guard sheep. down making good time because of the the road the old gravel road but ah my feet hurt walking on this it's hard you can see a bit of a wall there and another bit just there it's crazy to think that this landscape that seems so empty right now it used to be a big industrial centre I'm still walking down this road it's getting kind of late still got plenty of time to get to where I need to get to let me just check the time it's 20 past 6 and the sun is going to be with me for a few more hours. I think I need about another two hours of walking. This is the longest road I have ever been down. Seriously. I've been going down it for like an hour or two now. Just trudging, trudging, trudging. And it's not got any easier on my feet. It's a really hard thing to walk on and the rocks twist your ankles and so as my feet hurt. Oh well. Um, pretty soon I'll be down into the little village of Garrigill and from then on I think it's another four miles um, onto where I'm going to get to. And that should be walking by a river so I'm hoping it's going to be nice soft river bank. That'd be really nice. So there is Garrigill with Gill being the old Norse word for like a thin narrow valley which is that, that's where the gill comes from, and I don't know who Gary was, but there you go. You can see on my long shadow that it's starting to get late. Um, I have five miles to go, so I still less than that. Probably around four, one and a half less. Um, so two hours, that's, that's fine. Should easily get there for about I don't know, maybe nine. Well, I'm entering the village now. To say I've done 15 miles today. Wow, I am tired. I've got another four to go. That road was awful. I try and stay positive, but that was getting to me. I happened to grin and bare my teeth a couple of times. It was quite painful. It's a pleasant enough little village. It's got 
got a nice green just like Dufton. Not going to stay here long. Not bad views the river down there. And I've had a little bit of climbing, but river bank staying nice and down flat for a while. My pleasant little river walk has turned into me nowhere near the river. Oh well, should be there in less than an hour, hopefully. Well, it's starting to get a little bit dark, but still got plenty of light, and I've only got about 20 minutes or so to get to where I need to get to. So, yeah, time is just about right. I have to get my head torch out, which I thought was a possibility with my late start. Okay, I don't want to keep filming because I don't want to lose any more light. Well, I, I made it, um, and I've just had um, a shower, and I've just had a curry. I'm very, very stiff in the legs. I, I really can't walk any more. So it's a good job the curry house is sort of attached to the um, pub slash hotel I'm staying at. 